Hey everybody, welcome uh, to Adobe Live. We have a super special guest today. I'm actually so, so, so excited for this stream. Um, hi, special guest. Hello, who are you? Hi, my name is Ben Stafford and I am a artist, illustrator, designer, uh, future educator. And I've been doing this for about uh, 14 or 15 years now. So heck yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to be here. Thanks so much for having me. I'm super excited. And we have to talk about something because we have our friend Matthew Flick in chat. Um, we're both donning some sweet hot merch from uh, somewhere. Ben, do you want to talk a little bit about the modern? Yeah, what sure. is the modern? What do you, modern how is, is your association? Is a college of design. It's in Kettering, Ohio, which is close to Dayton, if anybody's familiar with Dayton. About, uh, it's closer to Cincinnati than Columbus, but um, it's a great school, great college. Um, and I actually uh, have, have been teaching there for the past eight weeks, a branding course uh, this past summer, and I'll, I'll be continuing teaching there uh, for the next eight weeks. Um, and I love it. So yeah, yeah. If, if you're a student or not yet a student and are um, looking at design schools, definitely check out The Modern. Yep. And also if you're looking to get connected or get feedback or whatever, uh, Matthew Flick is in chat in there. Um, if uh, Val, I think is our moderator, uh, if <laughs> whoever our moderator is, if you want to grab a link to Matthew Flick's uh, Insta uh, Twitter or Matt, if you want to drop that in chat, that would be super helpful. Matt's just a great person to get connected with. He cares about the community. So uh, go give him a follow and hang out. Uh, speaking of following, Ben, where can people follow you on the socials of uh, um, the internet? I'm on Behance, you can follow me there. I'm on Dribble. just look up my name. Um, and then I'm only on Twitter is my, my social media uh, choice, I guess you could say, for lack of a better word. And that's at Ben Couraging. It's the word encouraging with a B in front of it, but it's also my name, so Ben Couraging. It feels right. It feels it feels so right for you. Um, so hello, friends in chat. Say hi. Um, let us know where you're watching from because it's always fun to have a worldwide audience. We already have somebody from Toronto, Canada, um, which is fun. Rick Adams. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Robert Wenberg, uh, Griffin Barnett. Nice to see you all. And if you are currently chatting and typing things, um, waiting for me to recognize you, but you're on YouTube, I'm sorry. I'm not going to see it. Uh, come over to Behance. Behance.net slash live is the place that we are live. And that's the chat that I will be reading, that Ben will be seeing, and that we'll be working from. So if you have suggestions, you want to get connected, come over there, leave us a red heart emoji to let us know that you are coming from YouTube. Um, and if you're just joining us, hi, hello. There's content here all day on Adobe Live, um, starting at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time with the daily creative challenge for Photoshop, uh, which our friend Voodoo Val, who's in chat, is doing. And uh, she'll drop those links so you can get connected there. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about Ben. Uh, if we can flip over. I want to share my screen a little bit, Ben, and kind of just highlight some of your incredible, amazing work. Uh, can sure. you describe your work for me a little bit? We're on your website and just like the general breadth of how you would describe your style or your approach oh, to work. I know, right? It, it's incredibly hard because I think it, it's evolved over the years too. Um, I think I try to work as simplistically as possible. Um, I don't like uh, extra noise. I really like the focus of my work to be the the, the meat of what you're looking at. Um, so yeah, I, I really try to be clever if that's if that's the best word for it. Smart. Um, I, I like some kind of aha moment, whether that's in my logo work or um, designs or even in even in collage. I know we'll probably talk about that in a little bit, but. Um, yeah, I, I love to make things aligned. I like geometry. I like um, I like things being centered, which is really weird because I know um, you're, you're often told maybe in art school, like don't center the thing. It's not going to be a great composition, but I just, 
I love the zenness of things being centered. So yes, uh, you'll see that a I lot agree. in my work too. So. It feels right. Uh, and speaking of those collages, if you want to, you can also go to Ben's uh, website at benillustrated.com. And there is some great stuff over here in the shop tab, some cool patches um, and some really cool collages. I have a heart for collages. I love them. I have one right here. Uh, oh, this is actually a stack. Oh, we have one here and we can do a double take. Another one here. Look at um, that. So they're awesome prints uh, and you can grab some over on the website, um, which is the far other side of what we're working on today, That's which true. I love for you that there's like this crazy breadth. Uh, I want to put an example of this armadillo that you've made, who is just the cutest. Um, <laughs> this is kind of the zone that we're going to be talking about, right? We're doing some kind of animalista logo-y stuff. So, somewhat. Yeah. Cool. Um, that armadillo is uh, from a long time ago. I don't even remember. Long Does it have a year time ago. Um, yes. But yeah, you, you know, a lot of my work, I, I do work a lot with animals. They are still geometric. A lot of them are illustrations. What we're going to try to do today is, is scale them down even more so that we are looking at maybe animals to be used on avatars or things that get scaled down really small. And a lot of times, Ooh. a lot of those details that I would typically add in, a, in an, excuse me, in an illustration, which is really hard to say, uh, those details are going to get super lost. So you're not yep. going to want to have those in your logo. Yep. Um, all right. So there are some more friends in chat uh, that I want to highlight real quick. Uh, our friend Doc Reed just popped in. Hi, hey, Doc. Doc. Thanks for joining us. Doc is also another great illustrator, um, great artist. Uh, if you guys want to click through on that profile and check it out. So today we are working on logos. Now, Ben is like teacher mode. We're trying to bring teacher Ben out today, which is going to be super fun. So let's flip over to your screen, Ben, um, and kind of jump in and get started here. Tell us about what we're doing, where we're going, and kind of give us the overview. And uh, yeah, let's let's get started. Cool. Well, I'm really excited to do this. Um, one, because I'm going in blind, which is it's kind of scary because yes. uh, I, I haven't illustrated some of these things before, haven't created these designs. I have some sketches that I'll be showing you, um, but you'll, you will actually get to see my entire workflow. Sometimes things get scrapped. I may work on them for two hours, I, and I may never post it. I won't even show it. So I don't even know the outcome of this. Is it going to be something worth sharing? Is it going to be solid at the end? Maybe, maybe not. The hope is yes. Um, but our goal today is to try to create a scalable logo uh, that can be used usually for like social media avatars. Uh, obviously, if, if this were a full brand, we would put the, the name of the business with it and we would do different kinds of uh, stacking and, and maybe playing around with different compositions. But for now, we are just focused on creating um, animal, geometric animal logo marks uh, that are super scalable. Sweet. Um, so can you full screen that for us uh, so we can get the full uh, breadth of Illustrator? And then let's hop over on to your screen. Uh, I'm still sharing my site. Let's hop over and you've got some things to kind of go through uh, to get us started. And we are we working pretty much exclusively in Illustrator? We will be working exclusively in Illustrator until possibly tomorrow. If you join us for the stream, we're going to be doing a lot of the same things. We're likely going to uh, maybe tackle one or two animals a day, maybe one or two tomorrow, depending on how uh, things flow. Uh, but I'd like to show you some some simple tricks, some plugins on how to get something really nice in Photoshop to display, to post on Behance, Dribble, wherever. Yes. So, yeah. Sweet. Sounds good. Let's so see. You're on my screen right now. Yes. Dan Draper is here. Uh, Dan Draper hey, Dan. just hopped in. Hi, Dan. Hello. Welcome. Hi, Christelle. Welcome to the stream. Uh, so, yes. Five things to, re to remember before we begin. Uh, a logo is simple, memorable, timeless, versatile, and appropriate. I really want that to be made known that I'm not a big fan of logos that are super intricate because at the end of the day, things do have to get scaled down really small, um, memorable and timeless. Um, we all know how awesome the Pizza Hut logo is from the eighties and nineties. And then they like twisted it and made it into some, something really funky and weird. Um, but they have brought it back and now it's back to its original 1980s, 1990s, uh, version, which is fantastic. I hope it stays that way forever. What my goal is when I create logos in my head, I think, what do I want to create that looks so timeless that maybe 15, 20 years, some hotshot designer comes along, thinks they can do better. They create something and it may not be that good yep. that, in 15 yeah. or, <laughs> that in 15 or 20 more years, they end up going back to my original logo. That is my thinking whenever I'm making something. Ooh, so, that's a really interesting thought process of like the trend of the, yeah, the throwback, like you said to pizza of like, oh, I want my logo to be the throwback. To be and, the, and a lot of the, a lot of the Saul Bass logos too, that they have, they have since, you know, moved on or evolved in a way that doesn't really look good. 
my hope is that they'll eventually go back to the original Soul Bass logo and everybody will be happy. Yep, uh, uh, because... and we have a friend, Alfonso Sorazano, got it, uh, is tuning in from Spain, all the way over from Spain, wow. and uh, they have been thinking about doing a similar kind of project. So welcome, welcome to the stream, track along, and awesome. if you want to design with us, design along with us. You can post on Twitter, uh, tag Ben, and he'd love to see uh, the stuff that you create in this style that we're working in today. 100%, would love that. Um, so number two is have a one color goal. Obviously a logo can be two colors. The Pizza Hut logo is two colors, um, but it needs to be versatile enough that it can be translated to one color. And that's often very, very hard. Um, keep the end application in mind. In this case, like I said, we're gonna be typically uh, designing logos to be used as avatars, things that can be scaled down really small. Um, try not to look at other work before you begin. Reference source material first. I think so often we as designers think, um, oh, what, what, what can, what has already been done? And then we go back and we look at it and we're just like, oh man, my design looks too close to those. And, um, that's not, that's not a good thing. It, yep. Totally. Absolutely. Um, and I, I think something that has been a trend is this idea of logos, like being one thing and then like scaling to different things as you go down. What's your take on like that approach? Or are you just like, I want one thing across the board? Um, I understand the need. And if you're a large corporation and can do that, I'm all for it. Um, but yep. I, I really do like designing something so very simple that it can be used on every application. Um, we will try to talk, talk about it maybe today or tomorrow. Uh, but even when you reverse things, uh, the weight of the reverse is very different than a positive. A po positive and negative have different kinds of weights. And you can't just reverse something and have it work. You may need to scale it down a little bit. I'll show you how you can do that. Um, so even thinking about how things can be reversed is important when you're scaling. Yep. Um, and then look for ways to be unique without adding detail. Subtraction is the key. Um, somebody once asked me, how do you know when you're done? Or, or how do you know, um, yeah, when, when you're happy with the, the end result? And I say, when there's nothing left to take away. Um, and I think that's really good when we're talking about these scalable logos is you look at these three that I've done before, I, I don't think I could take away much of anything and have it still be a dog, still be yep. a butterfly, still be a bird. Um, everything there kind of needs to be there. Yep. And this is awesome. So I, I actually bought a piece of art that I have downstairs and I was watching a live stream and this is artist and he was it was almost a performance piece about when to know that you're done and when to stop and when to be like, cool, I think that I've got it. You don't need to add any more. And he kept doing all this intricate work and adding more and adding more. And it kept kind of being like, okay, it's good. It's good. It's good. And he did it until the entire board was just completely black Sharpie. Um, and I was like, that's a really cool idea to think like, if you keep pushing it too far, it ends up just being nothing. Uh, and then you're like starting over. And so I love that idea of you have to know when to stop when things are like exactly where they need to be. You can't take anything else away. And that's where it stays. Absolutely. And then I'll, I'll share this only because what you see here on the left, um, is a logo I did guard dog security. And this was not Photoshop. This was me actually in the backyard with a spray paint can. Uh, and a little stencil that I made. Yes. But um, originally we were kind of around here and there's lots of evolution. I know this might be a little overwhelming, but- Ben, uh, I've seen so much of your work. So Ben and I have been friends forever and we do feedback back and forth and I see his work all the time. I've never seen this side of your work. Oh, really? And this is so cool to see like just a full chaotic artboard. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And you can kind of see my thought process when you're dealing with like those aha moments you know, I'm still trying to line stuff up, you know, lightning bolt or a shield. Uh, I was trying to play with different shapes of shields or maybe this key is also the eye. And it just got too much. Like this was one of my favorite ones too. Add in a little lightning bolt for the mouth. Like yep. it's, like it's kind of, um, or even playing with shields over here. But ultimately um, I was just like, that's just too much. It also makes it more than one color, which is kind of hard. I love the way this looked to make it look like Ooh, a shield. Yeah. Um, but ultimately that's just not going to work. And so what we ended up going with was just this top one. So it still is powerful. It still gets the point across. Um, and it didn't need that aha moment. Like I, like I wanted to force it to be, um, and this is still a really cool end result. So I wanted yep. to show that to say, Hey, we're going to be doing some similar kind of things. Um, we're going to be creating, but we're also going to be, um, adjusting quite a yep. bit. And I love the process that you're talking about of like, 
trying to find that feeling and emotion that like you usually go for that aha moment and then realize like, oh, this project isn't an aha. It just needs to be strong and punchy. Um, and I remember Ben taught me this and I thought it was the greatest thing that anyone's ever done is we were talking about like getting a certain texture on something. And I was like, how'd you get that texture? And he's like, oh, I took salt and I just sprinkled it on black paper and use that as the texture. And I was like, that is so <laughs> smart for like finding a feeling of just the right amount of texture of being like, okay, what what tools do I have in my cabinet to be able to achieve that feeling of just that subtle? It's like, oh, it's salt. Uh, and so I love that as we get into this process, I know there's going to be those moments of like, okay, does a circle fit here? Does a square fit here? What's the emotion that we're trying to get? Yes, absolutely. And what you're also going to see is I don't really deal with a whole lot of organic shapes. Uh, I'm trying to do as much as I can with geometric stuff. Um, so I just wanted to give you a heads up. It's not going to be super organic. We're going to be dealing with a lot of points, a lot of rounded edges. Um, yeah, sharp angles. I love the um, 45 and 90 degree angles. I love the full vertices. Yes. Horizontals. Yeah. Yes. We'll be voguing here today on the stream. That's a... <laughs> It's just here. <laughs> um, so we are, I believe, starting from scratch, right? We're pretty much going in blind today, right, Ben? Yeah, we're going in yes. blind. Um, can can, can we, be before we jump in, sorry, can we hit that green button and push the window full uh, all the way across in the, yes, that, or uh, the, that one, yes. Is Perfect. the yellow too striking? Maximum. Uh, it, it was a lot. <laughs> um, it might distract from the feelings we're trying to get. Uh, and perfectly so, fine. Yes, as we go in again, because on a lot of these streams, there is a plan we're working towards someone today, we kind of have that. We want you to interact with us, give us advice chat. If you have suggestions, if you have questions for Ben, if you have comments, if you have funny jokes, uh, drop them in chat, let us know. We love that stuff. Uh, and we're gonna be working here for the next hour and 45-ish together. Um, and Ben will be working, but we will be collaborating all together on the ideas. So uh, let's hop in Ben and uh, get going and chat. If you have anything to add, toss it yeah. in there and I'll relay. Well, it wouldn't be a Ben Stafford project without trying to do a bird. And I've yes. never done a rooster before. So put I thought, on it. put a bird on it. I love birds, um, kind of obsessed with them. I've, I've illustrated quite a few, uh, but never attempted a rooster. And I thought, man, these are sweet looking birds. Don't give them enough credit. They've got some really funky stuff going on. Uh, I don't even know what that thing is called beneath their beak or their little uh, mohawk there, but um, there's some really great angles. This uh, black rooster is phenomenal. And I've even seen, you know, what kind of shapes can we pull out uh, just by looking um, that you can kind of already tell this eyeball here is a great shape that kind of lends itself to my geometric style. So I'm going to be looking at this guy quite a bit, but I've also tried to do uh, some very basic preliminary sketches. I mean, I took maybe five minutes, sketched these out and then uploaded them because I didn't want to get too far. I didn't want to... Um, have it kind of already pre-designed before I came in here. Um, so I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm hoping something good can come out of this, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, and it is called a comb is the top piece. Oh, no kidding. Uh, that's my job here. If you have any questions, Ben, or need terms, that's my job is just sit back here and Google things that's and hilarious. provide information. <laughs> Uh, it is the, oh, there we go. Clever Dylan. Thank you, chat. Comb on top, waddles on the cheeks. Ooh, fun. Oh, waddles. Waddles. kind of cute. I love that we're going to get into a process where we're working on this and we're like, okay, so let's address the waddle real quick. <laughs> <laughs> now we can be technical. Um, so yeah, like I said, I, I'd love to start out with uh, basic shapes, whether that's a circle, triangles, these teardrop shapes, shield shapes. Um, knowing that ultimately they're likely going to be in a circle avatar, I'm going to need to keep that in mind. I can't go yes. super long. I think um, that could be a little bit dangerous, but um, we're going to we're going to play around here. We're going to see what we can do. Yep. Um, Does that maybe, when you're working with clients, is that something that would always come up in conversations? Is like, oh, we need to make sure that it looks good as our like Facebook profile picture. It seems that like in conversations, that seems to be like a selling point for people. Is like, ah, oh, so we need it for Facebook. And, you know, as designers, we're obviously thinking like, you need it for a million other things, but somehow yeah. like that's the thing that's in everyone's brain. True. Um, I think it should just be a given for designers to know that already, I yep. would hope, um, is to always create things to be used uh, in, in the day and age that we live in, which is social media. Yes. Um, you can't design stuff that doesn't look good there, so. 
Yep. Uh, and our friend Jeremy Booth is in chat. Hi, Jeremy. Jeremy. Je for Jeremy's up. another great uh, illustrator, super minimalist, does incredible work, bright colors, uh, hot on the NFT scene. Which <laughs> Ben, true. do you have NFTs up? I do. Or I, or I did. Somebody purchased it. Um, nice. So I'm still kind of new to this space. I, I'm, I kind of cooled my jest there for a little bit. I may get back into it, but uh, it was yep. fun. Uh, and Ikurimor, uh, what's his Instagram handle? Ben is not on Instagram, but you can go to his website, check out his work. He left Instagram um, nice to out. pursue a th more thriving life. Uh, but he is on Twitter, Ben Couraging on Twitter. You can follow along, uh, tweet and say hi to Ben. Um, so something I saw on uh, Twitter the other day that a designer, I won't name names, but they just found out that you can click option and shift and then draw your circle from the inside of the circle, which I've, yes. I guess I've known for years and I guess I'd always took it for granted, but some people take the shift and draw it from the corner and then try uh, to align. Is, that's tough. Uh, so yeah, definitely the uh, control shift is a lot better control and uh, get it right from the center there. I agree. I'm, I'm trying to do this one right here. This one struck me as uh, something scalable, something where you can definitely see the unique aspects of the uh, waddles. Is it plural? That's kind of weird. And then oh, the comb. We say waddles. Yeah. Waddles. I think there'd be waddles, like each individual waddle. And then there's waddles together. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and as we're like jumping in, even into the sketches, do you try to like mentally, as you're sketching, get rid of details in the process between looking at a reference and getting it onto paper? Is your brain trying to figure out like, okay, what things can go away? to get here or do you just think in shapes organically? Maybe I'm just trying to think of shapes. Like if I were to look at this eye, um, I don't even need to do a whole lot. Um, you know, kill this point. Maybe that's a little bit too harsh. And then round this guy. And we've already got a pretty good, I may round this later, but. Aggressive chicken yeah, eye, yeah. Right? He looks very aggressive. So we'll come back to that. We may make our rooster aggressive. They are yeah. aggressive creatures. And that's interesting how much it helps to have the reference, but like kind of ignore it and think about like, what is the essence of this reference? Like if I'm working geometrically, how does this reference become geometrics? Right. Uh, if I'm working in, you know, abstract scribbles, how does this reference become abstract scribbles? Uh, it's that interpretation uh, that I think is really powerful to, as a designer. Totally. Uh, what you'll see me doing a lot is, um, trying to replicate the angles. Um, I love repeating angles. So this angle of this triangle got repeated up here. My guess is I'm gonna have to redraw this to be more narrow. Right now he's looking super chunky and that's not what I want. Um, so, but Big it's bird. best for me to design this uh, the way it is now and then redesign it. It's gonna take half the time because I know exactly what I need to be doing. Yep. Um, so I love fun. the journey of this bird like not having like that cock -a -doodle -doo, but because he's so chunky it's just like cock -a doodle do <laughs> like he's just, he's just like smoking a cigarette out on the farm <laughs> you know what i'm not seeing the thing that i typically see which is that uh pink line that says like continual i don't know where that is but... oh am i uh you're right uh i know it's a feature of smart guides it may be because it's trying to lock onto other smart guides you also can scale that line and it will do the see, same there it thing. is line extension but there you i had go. to create yeah. a new one to do that huh that's okay i'll just join these points what i did is control click now i can join and i'm gonna actually just then take hit, one of them hit out. my subtract button there and boom, boom. kill it yep what i'll do for that as well is i will grab the line and then scale it up and it stays at that same angle and then just cut the points on either side because that happens to me every now and then too. That's smart. See, it's gone again. Um. Okay, why would this be happening? My, my only thought is because there are so many other things that it's trying to smart guide to, maybe it's latching Possibly. to the other smart guides. Beats me, but it sounds right. <laughs> Uh, so we can see here, this is rounded here. So I'm just going to snag both of those points with my direct select selection tool. Grab that. Makes a nice curve. Ooh, That's crazy. That. And we already have a check. Can you real quick, like, just hover over areas and maybe we can look at, like, 
what the basic shapes are here so that people can comprehend. Cause I think seeing the reference and knowing a chicken and then looking at me like, Oh, it's all these organic, you know, pen tool, whatever. Let's go through and like, just look at these are literally just shapes. Yeah. Um, this one was the uh, kind of teardrop shape, but I wanted it to have a perfectly horizontal flat line at the top. Um, if I wanted to, well, maybe not. I take that back. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> uh, this is just a triangle, but I've, I've rounded the top point. It's a perfectly, is it, I, what's the, what is the term for that kind of triangle? Oh, I have Equal no idea. All sides. Isosceles? That's what my guess was going to be, but I didn't want to embarrass myself. Yeah, I'll say it. Chat, I'll embarrass myself. Chat. Yeah, chat, somebody, let us know. Somebody who knows math. E equilateral? Not me. That sounds right. Let Equal us know, chat. We're getting into, we're getting into, you didn't know you're getting geometry theory. It's in the description. We, we tried to warn you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Um, so right now I can tell that his beak is awfully short, um, but the basis for a rooster is there. So what I'm going to try to do, um, is start over what you're going to, you're going to see this iteration quite a bit and that's perfectly okay. I think it was Aaron Draplin who said, uh, vectors are free. Um, so yes. you can, you can make as many as you want and you'll be just fine. It's true. And not only are vectors, oh, this is such a bad transition. Oh, I'm going to do it. Not only are vectors free, but Adobe creative cloud is 70% off right now for your students. <laughs> Help. Well done. Oh, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. Uh, there is a discount for students that just launched, uh, I believe, earlier this week. So if you go and check that out in the plans, if you're a student that needs a new subscription, it is cheaper now because we want to make sure that it is accessible to everyone. Um, and I very rarely talk about those on stream, but it is a great deal. So I wanted to make sure that everyone was aware of that. Hook it up. You can uh, check it out. Yeah, look it up. I'm sure the mod will drop a link in there somewhere. So I just recreated the same shape. Okay, I, I rotated it so that my um, this line was now horizontal completely. And I'm going to try to use that for my beak instead of a new uh, shape. Um, just because I, I love re repeating shapes and I think it makes it more uh, consistent. Do you ever scale when you're working with stuff like that? Do you ever scale from a key point? Mm. So like set the point to like where those those anchor points join and then scale out from there. Does that make sense? Maybe. Okay. So maybe maybe I don't. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Well, well, I'll I'll show you a thing. Nick Longo's okay. in chat. Hey Nick. Nick. What's up? Thanks for hanging out uh here in chat. Nick's one of our favorites, uh co-host of Adobe Office Hours on Friday, 2 30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and also <laughs> just friend of Ben, friend of I, uh, friend of design. It's so right. great to see all your friends in here. It is. Thanks for coming, guys and girls and everybody else. It's so fun. This this is very quickly with that line turning into a uh, super punk rock uh, chicken. It's the <laughs> super high comb. Uh, oh, you know what? I think, okay, I think I have the solution of why it's not scaling because that has a, a point on it. So if you convert that to a corner point, it should give you the track on that line. You got it, yes! sir. Yes, yes. Feels good oh, to be right, huh? That is my number one challenge watching people like, all right, let's <laughs> figure out what's going wrong here. <laughs> but that literally has been one of my favorite uh, Adobe additions over the years. Yeah. Uh, between that and the rounded radiuses, um, what a lifesaver that has been. Yep. You know what? I'm not going to create that just yet. I have an idea. I also like that in your process, you are working with simple shapes, but you're also using that pen tool to get the, it's almost like you're skipping a step that so you know the simple shape you need, but you know how you're going to augment it. So you just use the pen tool to like do those augmentations instead of building. You're just like, oh, I'll just make it with pen tool. True. Um, Cause it is a lot of here like rectangle, trapezoid, triangle, but you just grab the pen tool and you're like, all right, I know I'm going to do this, do this, do this, do this. Yep. hundred percent. Ooh, in chat, we're not going to do this yet, um, but we are going to uh, eventually maybe name this chicken. Oh, uh, that's my yeah. favorite thing to do on chat whenever we're doing something that's anthropomorphic is let's go ahead and name it. So not yet, chat, but be thinking. 
be uh, in the back of your minds thinking through what you can uh, name this sweet little chicken. Rooster? It's a rooster, right? It's a Ch rooster. Chickens don't have the uh, combs. That's right. Well, they do, are, but are, are they are roosters chickens? Don't do this to me. I didn't I do any kind of Sorry. research. You keep this. you keep you keep working, Ben. I am going to take that Google. is what part of the reason why the chat is there. They should know. It's true. Chat, please help us. So I'm gonna pull that radius right to where I want to make a cut. Uh, I should probably do the same thing here. Make sure these are in front of this. And it's crazy how you got that organic of a shape out of basically just rounding corners. Um, true. Like that shape in my brain is like, how is he doing that? That's so much pen tool and different curves, but it's just rounded corners. Yep. Um, and that really is the magic of creating stuff that looks like it's been super custom pen tools. Make some shapes and round some corners. True. Thank so you, just, chat. Roosters are chickens. Hens have combs. <laughs> Roosters typically have larger combs. Got it. All right. Just for the sake of seeing our, our shapes differently instead of outlines. Do you typically work in outlines or do you typically work in... Um, maybe while I'm still dealing with my shapes, yes. Um, but there, there will be a time where I switch over. Little chicken. <laughs> Are we getting names already? Uh, not yet. Not okay. yet. I, okay. I, I, they're, they're stewing. They're stewing away. Um, at what point, so like we have the one on the left and we have the one in the middle. At what point do you decide like, let's make a copy of this instead of augmenting the one that is there. Mm. Usually I do that at big decision points. Uh, like let's say everything's working for me except this uh, comb. Uh, then I would copy everything, make a selection, and then I would start a new comb because yep. maybe there's a chance that this comb is sal salvageable. Uh, maybe there's something there that I want to remember. Um, that's when I would probably do it. Yep. Uh, and uh, Eckermore, uh, Eck, Eck, Eckermore, let me know if I'm pronouncing that right in chat. Um, must we use logo paper to sketch? What's your advice, one, on sketching in general and two, on using logo paper? Um, I, you know, I, I did try to do uh, like iPad, uh, Procreate stuff. Um, and it, I hated not having something physical um, as, as a, I don't know if history is the best word, but I love to go back and look at my old sketches sometimes. Uh, sometimes there's a nugget in there that I'll think, oh yeah, I never did execute that idea. Um, and so I just like having it in a book. Um, so yep. I, I use Baron Fig uh, and oh, yeah. I, I enjoy those dotted grids, but no, I, I literally draw logos on uh, sticky notes and other things too. And I'll just stick those in my sketchbook. Another yep. good, there you go. Look at you, man, that was quick. Yeah, that's it. There, I have I have accordions of post-it notes just near me. You guys can't see it, but right out of view of the camera, there are so many sticky notes with reminders and things uh, for this stream or for other things. So yes, and I, I mean I so my entire desk is a whiteboard, and so I have sketches on here all the time. Uh, and so Eckermore, wherever you are, if you have inspiration, write it down. Literally, like grab your phone and scribble it onto a thing with your finger. Um, usually, if you have the idea in your brain, sketches to me at least are a lot of just getting stuff out of my brain. And so if I don't have something to physically sketch it, I just want to get the reminder somewhere to be like, oh, this idea and this idea. And then once I get home that I can actually kind of work it out. Oh, that is a very rockabilly. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to pull like that over pompadour. there. <laughs> um, but I think I, I will go ahead and try to make a new comb. Um, I think that one is a little bit too complex. Um, what we're dealing with now, we've got some competing elements um, that are going to be really hard to translate in a one color. Um, so I oh. think we can come back to this guy, but I'm kind of seeing there's, there's some problems. Um, I'm going to try this guy here. Okay. Um, and it's interesting, uh, just at that, and you can keep going on this, but I love the stop there of 
we had addressed problems kind of as we went, right? That's like, oh, this is too big. The perspectives here is weird. And we kind of addressed those problems till we got somewhere to where we hit like, oh, this is a big enough problem that we actually have to like really think about it. Let's just jump to another idea. And maybe that idea will solve that problem in the case, right? True. That's correct. Um, this one, we will not be using a equilateral triangle. Yes. I sounded smart there for a second, but you did. It was pure guess. Yeah. Confidence is key. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Oh, uh, we have some new friends in chat. Amy Hood just popped in. Hi, Amy. Oh, hi, Amy. Uh, of Hood Social says, yes, we are here for the rooster party. I agree. Um, we also have some really great names uh, coming in. We have Egbert, uh, Coco Yvonne, <laughs> Shake and Bake, uh, Waddles McGee, uh, Rodwell. Any of those sound interesting to you, Ben? I mean, the Waddles actually make sense because of the name of the... Um the thing underneath of them. So. It's true. Let's call them waddles. Let's do it. It's also the name of my daughter's penguin. So it's it's kind of related. Oh, it feels right. Yeah. She doesn't literally have a penguin, but a penguin stuffed animal. Sorry. Yes. I clarify. Uh, and yes, everyone is here hanging out. It's so good to see everyone. And uh, a little shameless self-plug this Friday, 2.30 uh, on office hours, 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, Amy and her sister Jen are going to be on. We have Hoots, bleh, Hootspah Design coming on uh, office hours. We're going to be talking all about business. So check that out. I believe the link is... Uh, I'll grab a link for y'all chat. Uh, and I will drop it in there, bit.ly slash OH Fireside. You can set a reminder on your calendars to join us for that as well. Ooh, I love like currently the puffin vibe that it has <laughs> with just the eye and the beak. Uh, that's not quite a puffin. It looks more eagle-ish, but that's true. You know, I, I, look, I was looking at some of these roosters and they do have that really nice curve. Yep. So I think we can get away with it. Um, again, which says something, the fact that we have three lot, like three things, three shapes, right. And because we've started augmenting, changing, combining, they were already getting a figure out of literally three shapes. That's true. Ooh. I feel like your process is a lot like, and this is not, I mean, this in like a good way. Again, I'm the worst at giving insults. If you guys know this. Um, it reminds me of kind of the, the play aspect of having like, um, those little wooden blocks that were like different shapes or having like the rubber band pegboards or Lincoln logs that it's kind of these pieces that you understand and you know how to work with. And then you're just piecing them together that it That's isn't fair. this full on like, Oh, I'm like going to be doing this like intricate low pen tool, whatever. It's like, cool. Here's the stuff they have in my cabinet. Let's, let's put them together and see what happens. <laughs> totally. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. I'm, I'm down for that. Sweet. I'm really bad at compliments. So I meant that as a compliment. <laughs> I get it. Uh, and Ahmed says, do we have to know how to draw to do this? No, not at, um, all. not at all. You can play around and create stuff like this, especially in Illustrator, very easily just using shapes. Um, you can tune into the stream today and tomorrow. Uh, ben and I will be working on this logo. And then if you want to get hands on, there's actually something that happens every day um, at 1130 p.m. Pacific Standard Time that is called the Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge. Um, and it is something to get you hands on learning a very specific tool. Um, Val will drop the link there and you can actually go to the page and click the button and it will remind you every day that there's a new challenge. Um, if you want to join me starting next Monday, I'll be doing some challenges and we do have a geometric logo challenge. Uh, so we'll be taking hard inspiration from Ben Stafford today. I'm just soaking it all in as we work through these next few days. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this is going to be the waddle shape, right? I'm going to try. Looks awfully big, but we'll, we'll see. It did say that the uh, male roosters had like usually had large waddles, so that it could it could be fitting. Good. Yeah, we may come back to that shape, but it is what it is for now. It feels waddly. Waddle. So, um, somebody asked, "Do we need to learn, or do we know, need to know how to draw?" And a big fat no on that one. Um, Honestly, looking, the, the biggest thing is looking at um, these photos 
and, and thinking what shapes can I use um, to create some of these elements, that's going to serve you probably a whole lot better than drawing. Yep. Um, and something that I would recommend too, if you're having trouble stuck in like, oh man, I feel like I need to draw or I don't know how to even start with some of these shapes is do um, kind of like we did, but don't don't jump into Illustrator right away, right? If you're having that kind of struggle, bring it into Fresco, like bring a source image, bring it into Fresco, bring it into Photoshop, and then literally just try to find where a shape is. Find the eye and draw a circle around it. Find the nose and draw a square or a triangle um, and just draw those out so you can see how shapes work and then come into Illustrator and start building with some of the technical tools. Um, but going in and kind of just being very loose, trying to let yourself have some time to figure it out um, is always great. You don't have to do anything in design. You can always just experiment. And as long as you end up where you are, there's no right or wrong way to do things. Just end up where you want to be. That was very good. That was almost like a Kermit the Frog kind of thing. That's so true. Bring out my <laughs> little fan show. Just end up, just end up wherever you are. Yes. <laughs> oh, Dan Draper. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you, Dan. Dan's dropping some Napoleon Dynamite quotes in there. Uh, and Yuma never used Fresco before. Now's the time to do it. Um, Fresco is super awesome, super fun to play with. Uh, and uh, Adobe Max is coming up soon, which is super fun. And I'm sure there will be lots of updates on lots of fun things, uh, which I believe registration just opened. If you guys haven't registered for Adobe Max, do it. It's uh, super fun. Ooh, this approach is completely different to the cone. Yeah, it is more Mohawk-y. And I like that in this iteration, not only did we stop the other one because we had that big problem, but this one we're starting to address some of the like casual conversation pieces that came up of uh, saying like, oh, maybe this waddle or maybe the comb is too complex was kind of just like a passing thing as we went. And then as we do the next iteration, it turns into like, oh, it's a completely different cone. Also, True. that was that was very beaker from the Muppets for a second. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, yeah. It's, yes, that's the crop in. <laughs> that's funny. And it's interesting, stylistically, these are two very different pieces as well. Uh, but still using the same shapes, the same ideas, uh, but stylistically looking very, very different. Yeah, again, I don't know exactly where this will go. Um, that's the fun of it sometimes, isn't it? It is, it is. I'm okay Where are we going to go here? Um, so something as you work, I kind of want to talk about like the, the generalness of what Ben is, uh, Ben, for those watching, I'll give a quick overview. Ben is all the things, uh, Ben does a whole lot of things. So design here, he does collage work, does some artwork, um, also has a family also is a teacher also is in school, um, to, learn more to eventually go out and become a teacher. Well, I guess you are a teacher, be, go, go into teacherness. I don't know what the transition is there. It seems like you already got it, uh, but he's also in school. And so you do like a million things, Ben. Um, how, how, how do you find balance in that? How do you do that? How do you stay creative in that? Or is it just like, sometimes you just shut down? Uh, I love variety. Um, I also like to keep busy. Um, I hate being bored. I like feeling useful. I like feeling um, helpful. So I think when I was designing a whole lot or illustrating, I loved that I was doing those things, but I wanted to help others more. And so turning to teaching has kind of helped me to be able to do that. Um, so I'm pumped that I get to be a teacher and, and help other people figure out what I kind of do, uh, but also uh, help a lot of students or kids figure out uh, if they want to go into the art field, which I yep. would highly encourage them to. So 
which we talk about on this uh, channel so much, the importance of reaching out to people on Twitter, getting connected. That's how Ben and I started. Uh, it was just talking on Twitter. And then we ended up meeting at a conference. We ended up uh, kind of hanging out some more. And we talk all the time, pretty much every day, feedbacks. Uh, we have a little community that we'll talk about a little bit later. But Ben is a great person to follow on Twitter, to get connected. Just send a hey, send a hi. If you have questions on feedback, whatever. Ben's a great person to get connected to um, and be sure to reach out. And again, Ben, we know that you have a love for community. And so just a great person to follow and to, uh, yeah, you're always there for the community, Thank especially you. them students. <laughs> we love them students. We do. You students in chat. Hello, chat students. Uh, what I'm going to try to do here, something that we haven't done yet. Um, I'm gonna click option and I'm gonna click the center of this eyeball. Yes. Uh, and then copy that. And it makes a nice, perfectly 45 degree angle um, thing here. But before I touch anything else, I'm gonna click command D and that's gonna make a little full radius around. So I really only wanted the top three. But you can. Um, Ooh, I, maybe maybe yeah. I keep that fourth. I, I was going to say that, like, I wasn't mad about it. I, I'm not quite sure about this relationship. There's a little bit of a divot there that I don't like. So, you know what? This is the time that we make a copy. Yes. Nice. Copy. I'm going to probably keep going with this third one here. Um, and to the back. I, as you Go keep ahead. going on that, um, we just had, uh, and it's funny because I didn't have this planned at all, but it just so happened that I had pulled up uh, something on my screen. So I'm gonna hop over to my screen real quick as you do that iteration, because I want to talk about something that is semi related to you. But we just had our friend Jeremy Slagle pop up in chat um, and I did have this up already. I wanted to talk about uh, when we were talking about family. Um, your wife, Beth, is also an awesome creative uh, and has done some books, uh, which is so fun. Uh, so chat, if you want to go check us out, happycargobooks.com. Um, ben, I believe you did the logo work for this. I did the logo for Happy Cargo Books. That yes. is correct. Um, so chat, another thing for you to look into, Happy Cargo Books. Uh, there are a couple on here, Hip Hooray Hippo and Chin Up Chinchilla. Two of my favorites. They're currently in the room right next to me. They are a staple um, for just kids reading bedtime. Um, really amazing books uh, that talk a lot about some great topics and have great conversations there. So Check that out. Uh, I just saw Jeremy Slagle in chat and it had the relation to Ben as well. So go check those out and uh, yeah, read some books. <laughs> it's LeVar Burton, yeah. but you don't have to take my word for it. <laughs> read some books. Okay, so I am noticing that I'm really liking some of these relationships. Um, I think I would like to make this relationship a lot better. And that meant shrinking the beak I want to make those points meet right here. And I want to make this horizontal line meet perfectly at this corner. It's so crazy to me what just happened in those 35 seconds. Like <laughs> we went from what's happening on the left, which is like, okay, there's like an idea here. And then suddenly to the right is like, cool, ship it. It's done. Like <laughs> That's so it's, crazy. It's, it's close, um, but I, I still think there's some uh, things to, to fix. Um, but yeah, I just knew this was not working. This was just too detailed. There's no way we we're going to scale this down. I needed to bring it all back. Um, and I still really love this relationship between the eye and this beak. Um, so yeah, this is a great, I'm going to call this our starting point. We had a yeah. few um, Rough goes. I think when you put the key in the car and it goes, nah, 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 nah. yes, nah, 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 nah. that happens all the time. And it, I mean, it, in my deepest uh, anxieties, maybe I'm like, shoot, a lot of people just saw two really crappy things that I just made. Uh, but we're working, we're moving past it. And yeah, I would probably never post these anywhere. But without making those mistakes, we would never land on something like this, yep. which is just going to get us further on down the road. Yep. And I love uh, showing that kind of stuff in case studies. And uh, we talk about it in office hours. I love to show people that like you suck before you tell them how great you are because 100%. it makes that greatness like more exciting because they start out and they're like, oh, okay, this is, we're going somewhere. And then suddenly like, well, how did we end up here? <laughs> like if you start great the whole time, they're like, oh yeah, it's supposed to, it's just supposed to be great. Uh, I love having that contrast there. Uh, so I just repeated that beak uh, because I love that shape. And we're going to find that rooster's eye that we had before. 
this may be a little bit too scary. It depends on how we want Waddle to feel. Obviously, the, the creative brief will determine what kind of brand this is. But Oh, yeah. Is it an angry Waddle? Maybe. Ooh, you know That's what this is? Really you know what scary. this is, Ben? This is a uh this is like know. a spicy chicken restaurant. Like they sell like <laughs> Nashville, like Nashville hot chicken, and it's just like the angry chicken, like the angry waddle restaurant. We, we may come back to this. I'm <laughs> it's red eye scary. Woo. I'm gonna copy him just like I do everything else. Uh um, yes. throw him off to the side. We may come back to him. That uh, is kind of scary though. And chat has suddenly gone off with some great quotes. So I'm just going to kind of read through some stuff here. Uh, Chris Beach, uh, friend here, says Ben is an amazing structure at the Modern. Uh, hey. Shout out to Ben. Hi, Chris. Welcome to the stream. Thanks, Chris. Uh, we uh, have uh, Amy Hood saying, now that we know Ben is human. Yes, that's why I love these streams is being able to see the process and seeing people like Ben, right? That we look at his work and we're like, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. And then we see like... Mm, we were really rough there for a little while. Uh, then we're all. And I knew like, that would happen. Yes, and that's the that's the thing. It's the normal part of the process for everybody. Uh, if you have that imposter syndrome, just watch these streams every day, and you'll see that like everyone is impostering each other. It's true. Uh, I did notice as I was doing this that my uh, alignment was off, which is something that happens every now and then. Um, so I'm I'm going about fixing that right now. Sweet. And uh, when he did the, when we did the, the blah, 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 rotations that you did, of, oh, Ben, what are the words that I want? When you did the. Oh, I'm, I'm going to do that again. Just yes, heads up. That thing. So when you do that again, uh, I'll talk about another thing. Okay. <laughs> so I, I, I clicked uh, or typed the uh, letter R and then found the center of the circle. Clicked option. And it brought up this rotate panel here. Um, I love working on the 45 degree angles. It doesn't really matter. Yep. Uh, we're gonna have to fix the beak here soon, but go ahead. So what I was gonna say there is there, so that is a, a way to do it. There is another way that they just introduced, I believe in the latest update, maybe two updates ago, um, called radial repeat. Uh, and it's Ooh. similar in that it is its own tool that does that kind of idea. Um, I still use the way that you do it, Ben, of doing the command D rotate around. Cause again, it's the way that I'm comfortable with. Um, but there is a tool that can do some really crazy stuff with radial repeat. If you guys want to look into that, there's some great resources out there. Um, it is a new tool. I'm still getting used to it. Still figuring out how it works on my workflow. Um, but but it does exist. So thank you, Andrew, for telling me that. Uh, I will definitely look into this. Something that just happened, my my eyes, my brain has been trained to see things. Um, obviously, I'm a designer, but I'm gonna do that again. And was it 45? Copy once, I'm gonna click Command D and it copies again. Um, I wanted to see what it would look like Oh, right. Like it's maybe it's perfect. Uh, She's it, beautiful. <laughs> and and maybe do we take it one step further? Hold on. Obviously, there's some alignment issues we're gonna have to fix, but I'm bear with me. This is what this stream is all about, right? Oh, this is it. Just like let's run. Okay. Um, we're in the field. Take us to the promised land, Ben. <laughs> Yeah, there, there's a uh, chance for me to redo something here because there's some other alignment issues off, which is a shame. It's a crying shame. Which is, at this point in the process, is kind of that like, cool, we know this is here, pin it, we're chasing an idea, we're going to keep going with it, which I love that part of the process. Uh, and that's what we did up top too, that we went until we found a problem that was big enough to stop. And we haven't found that stop problem here, but we have found some problems. We can address them as we need to. That is correct. So what I'm going to do is try to find this point here. Like we really like that intersection on our prior version here where it went from horizontal to horizontal. This yes. nice, love that negative space there. Um, I'm going to try to pathfinder this out. A new friend in chat, Stephen Overturf. Welcome back. It has been a while. We haven't seen you in chat for a little while. Uh, nice to see you here, Stephen. What's up? Stephen's now in LA, I believe. Um, doing design i believe for an la soccer team um that's fine welcome to socal so like i said there's some alignment issues going on um maybe it's just me moving it up like this maybe maybe not um but this is basically the 
um, reflection of this 45 degree angle one. I just chopped it off right there, right where it met the beak. So you keep um, that, that visual angle going through. Correct. Um, I could make it harsher and cut it off this way. Um, maybe. Is that a copy version? It is a copy just of the it, rooster's head. Nice. And then I would take this um, intersect. Whoa, hold on. What? Um, there's a there's a ghost here. Here it again. Here it is. Yep. I don't know what you call them, but it's something that shouldn't be there. There we yes. go. Yes, ghost is the so, perfect thing. I think that's a little bit too small. It it looks like a mouth now, and it's going like. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of that version. So we'll go we'll go back to this. It was worth a shot. Yep. Uh, and I love the radial thing that's happening at this at this stage. Um, yeah, that's that's feeling pretty good. It is. So, do we, okay. Do we want to try something real quick? We we talked about it earlier, and I just want to try real quick. Can you just grab a shape, any shape? Um, and just drag it out, make a copy. Yeah. So what I wanted to show and kind of talk about was when you just did the repeat, right? You did yes. the rotate tool and then you did the option click. Yes. So Should I still you, click my rotate? So if you don't option click, so if you just click, uh, so like click on the bottom corner point. Uh, with my so, direct select? Oh, uh, no, with, with rotate. So select the object and then rotate and then click on that. There you go. Uh, when you click, it reassigns where the key is. So now when yep. you click and drag, it will move from that side. Um, and so earlier I'd reference scaling to a certain point. Um, you can do that with scaling as well. And so if you have a place, right, where maybe something is intersecting, you can click on the intersection and scale it to that intersection um, just so you can keep everything kind of locked in. Does that make sense? Um, I wasn't following. Oh, I okay. see. I right. See yes. So, so if you line up two anchor points that are locked, you can basically set that lock of the anchor points touching and then scale in and out from yes. there. Got yes, it. Sorry. That's what, uh, there was a break. And so I wanted to jump back to your You're fine. You're fine. Cool. Got it. All um, right. Let's keep going. Cause I'm excited. Okay. So the, the biggest thing we're dealing with now, uh, is that it is not a one color version. I think we're, we're, thinking, hey, this actually looks pretty cool if we were to use three colors and that works, but how can we get this down to one color? And it would be um, very odd in one, it would be a very odd logo in one color. Yes. <laughs> um, in fact, maybe we should do that. Yeah, see how, see what it looks like to be like, oh, here's well, how you, a you, great you... idea makes a terrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> well, you would kind of have to pick and choose and you'd have to do some kind of a, It's just it's not. Gonna, it's just not going to work. It looks like a uh, like a pigeon that has like achieved divini divinity. <laughs> like a glowing pigeon. Uh, um, and there's something in me that also wants the. Um, whoops. I want it to be straight like that. Oh yeah, because it's almost like that. Like -a -doo -doo, like they do the little. Yeah. I, I really like something that looks a little bit more. Oh, and it gives you that more. nice 45. Yeah. And it would also give us the opportunity to make um, the one on the bottom here. Oh, and that way we can keep recolor the, it. Yep. Keep, keep the same. So here we go. We're, we're likely going to have to recreate this and that's perfectly okay. We just need to keep telling ourselves that that's part of the process. Yep. It's, it's chasing the idea, not necessarily the application right now. That, yeah. That works, I think, really well. I like that. It doesn't, it doesn't intrude on this um, negative space here. Uh, what I would probably do, because we're working with future avatars, is pull this shape down. I'm going to make a, a quick guide. Where did that go? Did you know that if you go to view guides, make guides, it will make that an actual like yes. ruler guide. I didn't think you could do it with organic shapes and you can. Magic. There you go. Uh, okay. Amy Hood says, uh, and I don't really understand this. So if, if you do, or Amy, we could ask for clarification. What if you break the grid so that the chicken's white body starts at the right most edge of the waddle? Right most edge. 
I'm sorry. I don't know I, if I understand I don't, that. Yeah, I don't understand. If if you could maybe try to explain a little differently, we can give it a shot. Um, and Ahmed so, says, uh, we should see, should we see the logos in black and white first? Do you usually start in black and white, Ben, or do you just no, start in color? No, not necessarily. I, I would rather get to a really good point and then try to figure out how I can make it black and white. You can do that through texture. You can do that through line. We'll probably do it with some lines. Um, but I did want to show, I didn't want anybody to miss it. Yep. But we basically had this rooster start up at the top here. And because I wanted it to be perfectly centered and circular, um, I just lined it up right there. So now it's directly, his eye is directly in the center of our avatar. Even do that if we wanted to. Oh. Hello. Something to think about, something to think about. Okay, we're gonna take off again. Amy, if there's another way you can explain that. Yes, I'm or if really you wanna sorry. like sketch it on a napkin and text it to me, I'll, I'll <laughs> hold it up so Ben can see it. <laughs> Uh, let me see what I might do here is add a stroke. Are, are we jumping into the elephant in the room of dealing with the one color right now? I think we can. All right. Um, cause I think it's an important discussion to have and All right, chat. Yeah, Fig figure out the if chat's trying to figure out the the dynamics of what that suggestion was. Chat, if you figure it out, just keep 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 going. Keep going. Maybe it'll click for all of us together. Okay. Things are happening. Things are happening, but not in the way that I would hope. Did you just outline uh, that to get uh, the like different path? Yeah, and okay. and I'm my mind's breaking a little bit, so I may need to figure out where to even begin here. If this is white, this is black, and this is black, those are gonna have to. Uh, I think he will need to be an outline, a black outline, and then the other ones will have to be white outlines. And at least for this, see, here we go again, just in case I want to come back to them. I'm going to break that. I love the designer journey of like, is this on fire? How much is this on fire? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, chat's going back and forth between three combs and four combs as well. But let's address this first and then we can get there. Oh, you mean killing that one? Yes. That's not bad. I, it makes it less symmetrical. Yeah. It brings more attention to the beak. That's fair. So what I'm going to do... Nope, still not there yet. <laughs> this can be white. This can be black. Yep. And this, now I need to break up these shapes. Um, oh, okay. I think, yeah, my problem yep. here is that I don't want to break up these. Um, Oh, I know what you mean. I want the, uh, I want the hmm. comb to stay intact, but I do need some separation between that and the beak. So struggling to see where that fits. Could be you do. You know what? I'm going to try. Uh, hmm. Do I want to try this? Okay. Can you put that stroke back on? I'm going to I'm going to try to do something that I don't think I've ever done on stream before and see if it works. Okay, so what if this Tell me if you can see this. Are I can't see it. Are people seeing your screen right now? Uh no, they're seeing your screen. Uh, so I'm trying to draw on like your Zoom screen share. Is it showing up at all in red to you? No. Oh, dang it. 
I was hoping that that would work. Okay. Uh, I wonder if the, the stroke um, could cut and then round. So it cuts like vertically where the eye is and then rounds off on that black. So put the beak down. Oh, you know what? You know what you could do if you align the black stroke to the outside, you can run the top of that black stroke all the way to the left to separate the beak, right? So then play with the top uh, of that line, right? All right. All right, we got it. Like this? Yes. Obviously better than this, but yeah. And again, we will probably have to rebuild this. There's some alignment issues that have gone off, but. All right, and I am going to, we got we got the text from from Amy of the idea, so I'm going to, I'm going to grab That's this hilarious. real quick, uh, and I'll uh, I'll send it over here. Let's do this. You keep going there. We're going to make some things happen here. Okay. This is how you know it's live, y'all. It is it is live live. This is Very the live. like peak collaboration. All right, that goes there. Okay, another one here. Uh, and Ben, I I do want to ask you too about the journey of you like starting to go into education because yeah. you were you were full time doing your own thing, design, and then re just recently uh, in the last little while have gone into going back to school, education. What was that journey like for you? What prompted that decision? Kind of yeah. where's your life going? Yeah, I think I, I mentioned it just a little bit earlier that I still love design. I still love illustration. I think um, God's gifted me with this awesome ability to see things uniquely. I think a lot of designers and illustrators are blessed with that gift, um, especially that can be honed. It can be you practice that all the time and get better and better. Um, but I got to a certain point where I thought I love helping people almost more. I love helping people kind of in addition to, not more than, but in addition to like, if I can be on stream here with you, if I can hang out with somebody and be like, Hey, have you thought about seeing it this way? Or, you know, this way, I love to do that. So I thought, how can I get paid for helping people realize their full potential and encourage them? Oh, that's what teachers are. Yes. Yep. Uh, that's, let's be a that's teacher. That's what teachers do. That's uh, what it is. My mom was a teacher. My grandma was a teacher. Um, it's in the blood. Uh, but I think God, God has gifted me with that ability too, that gift. Yep. So I think it's been fun because I think uh, 10 years ago, maybe I had considered education and I just didn't want to go back to school. I'm, I'm a guy who was not good at school. I was good at art and about nothing else. Yep. Uh, math, science, history, those things, nothing clicked for me. So um, for me to get over the hump about going back to school, uh, that was difficult. So I think as as I got over that hump, a couple of friends encouraged me and I realized if that's one of the only things stopping me, I should probably go back. Yep. Um, and let's take a quick pause here. I'm going to hop over and show off the Happy Cargo Books website. Ben, if you want to go into two cents in just a second, let me make sure the screens switch over to mine. Uh, I just DM'd you in uh, two cents the the sketches or the ideas that Amy had texted over to me. Yeah. This is We're multimedia here, y'all. We were coming in live. live. Um, so if we want to flip over to my screen, uh, I can talk a little mm. bit about Happy Cargo. Um, for you guys, we've dropped the link earlier and kind of played around with it. Um, but here is the website, Happy Cargo Books. Again, great illustrations by Jeremy Slagle. Awesome written uh, words by Beth Stafford. Um, and Ben, you uh, used to work in, I mean, still work, I guess, in tandem uh, with Beth. You both are creatives. What's it like, like being married to, living with, working with spouse creative? Is it just like a built-in inspiration person? Uh, like, what's that dynamic like? Uh, I love it. I, I think one of the very first things people say is like, oh, I could never work with my spouse or things like that. And, you know, that's fine for them, I guess. Um, but I love it. I think my strengths are her weaknesses and her weaknesses are my strengths. So we just fit really, really well. Uh, in that regard. And so there's things that we do um, separately and there's a lot of things that we do together in the business. Yep. Uh, but I think 
when people talk about building teams, oh, we need a team because this person would be really good at that. And this, we have a built-in team that functions really well. Um, and that's on top of a healthy marriage too. I don't think anybody who doesn't have a healthy marriage could be a good uh, partner in business either. So um, if, if you have a spouse and you enjoy working with them and they think similarly to you and, and yeah, you just enjoy spending that time. I never get sick of her. I, I don't want to, uh, I'm, I'm going to be, a, be in a really hard transition period for me when I go back to school here soon yep. uh, of not being in the same room with her. I've been in the same room with her for the past almost eight years now. Oh, um, dang. So yeah, it's new horizons, it's exciting wild. times, exciting times. Um, all right. We can flip back uh, over to Ben's screen. Ben, did you get those uh, I pictures? Did. Okay. I did. did. I think, I think that could work. Um, yeah, we'll see where we get here. Yes, that, that's a good a idea. Suggestion. And uh, Doc also texted me and I, I think that he pretty much did where we've ended up right now. So I think that we're good there. <laughs> but man, the, chat, y'all are killing it. This is the power of community. Uh, we all work together. We all come together uh, and we can get feedback. We can work live on projects, which is super fun. So let's keep going here and see where we land. I think we have almost a solution here. Yeah, I, I still think I'm, I'm having trouble with this. Um, so I'm determining, you know, do we give up about the one color? Just be like, you know what? It, it'll be two colors and that'll be fine. Because this works. Um, it's not bad with just the red, the white and black. All right, and we got uh, we got a Slack coming in. <laughs> we got a Slack coming in now from Jeremy Booth. Copy and paste the neck, combine them into one shape, turn that into a stroke, and then add a stroke to the neck by itself. You all need to give visual that's, examples. That I, yeah, I don't I don't know where that one is, Jer. I, I I can kind of track, but I'm not quite tracking. It is really tough to do the uh, the collaboration through words with the the visuals. <laughs> uh, that'd be funny to give okay. a little wing here. Yeah, that may or may not happen. Okay. Um, I think it's right, a good. We'll keep going and see where it goes. Yeah, I think it's a good point to look at our reference again, um, or maybe rebuild and see what we can do. Yep. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's mental detox and get out of the weeds and kind of get back to the 5,000 foot view and see what happens. Exactly. I want to make sure this is aligned because the other one wasn't. Yep. Uh, this was our repeating shape. Which I think actually doing these live streams is a really good gauge of that. Um, whenever I'm working and I see chat, like talking about details a lot, that's usually a good cue to like, okay, cool. Let's pull back. And like, we know the problems we have, let's pull back and see if there's a different solution and then get back maybe into those problems. So we'll, we'll pin that and then take a look and then come back. True. And hello, Marcus Williamson. Welcome to the stream. Marcus. And yes, Thanks for coming. we are digging the wing addiction. I agree. I agree. The what? The wing addiction. The wing. You said the, the wing, wing addiction, and I didn't know if that the was The wing addiction. That's a tough one. I don't know why that's so hard to say. That's funny, though. I wouldn't mind a, a wing addiction, though. I love wings. Change the black and white only. Yes, Frank, we're we're trying to work toward a black and white only, but we're kind of just playing with maybe some new ideas, tightening some things up. And then we're gonna try to figure out the problems that we're seeing, because we are definitely seeing problems. <laughs> that sounded so terrible. It did. I but you're my friend, so I'm I'm glad that we understand each other. Yes. And and I mean we've pretty much been talking about problems for the last 20 minutes. So I think the <laughs> elephant's out in the room. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the concept and idea and execution of this though is all there. It's just a manner of like tightening the screws, which I think is, uh, that's the, I mean, the big thing about creativity is the ideation, the coming up of, does this work? Does it communicate? And it does all those things. Um, we just need to figure out what the actual thing is. What is 45 divided by two? 20... Uh, 27.5. 27.5. 
Y'all didn't think this was a math stream, did you? No, it's not. Oh, and a great comment from uh, from our friend Beth Stafford saying, I have a Ben what? addiction. Oh, no, no I didn't know she was watching. Oh, Bet, oh, Bet's here. She left the house. I didn't know if she was going to tune so in or not. So cute. <laughs> uh, 45 divided by two was not what you said it was. Oh, uh, it's 22.5. 22.5. Yes. See, I got there. Welcome to the math, everyone. There we go. Now everything's really nicely aligned. <laughs> you lost me at math. Yes, chat. There's so many of us. I like that Amy says, did you take calculus? I'm so impressed. And then I had the wrong answer. <laughs> but the, so, that's the best when, uh, cause chat's about 20, 30 seconds behind. And so I love when something really confident happens and then it ends up being wrong. And then they comment about the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Put this Things are happening. Back. Things are happening. Things are now more uh, aligned than they have been. I do think that once you have an idea, it's about like making it less and less wrong until it's right. I like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know what? For an avatar, that's not bad. It's not bad. I know I, we, had, we had said we wanted it to be one color and I even said two. It's not bad though. It isn't. I, bad. I also liked... And maybe we have variations or whatever of the, the angle of it kind of like peeking into kind of gave it some interesting energy. True. At that 45. Yeah, I'm not mad. At, I, I mean, I don't think anyone's mad about it. Chad, are you mad about it? And here's the thing. This is such a hot take, but I'm just going to say the words. I, like the idea of the one color, like, I don't know if that's an essential thing anymore. I like... I, I keep I try to think of places that you like you have to have a one color and I just don't know if that's like an essential thing anymore. I don't know, Ben. What what are your thoughts on that? Do we have um, to have a one color? I mean, it is the most versatile, and I'm always shooting for the, the best possible uh use case scenario. Um that's fair. But you're right, in the digital age, we're probably fine. I did uh, rotate him 45 degrees, which I really liked. Um, it now gave the beak a little bit more prominence. It also kind of shaped what angle the rooster is actually at um, with a flat beak on the bottom there. Yes. Look the how angry far we've rooster. come. Look at how far we've come. We came from a really weird looking comb to now something super geometric, super, this is me. This is what I would probably end up with because this is the way I work more geometric um more simple this does feel very bad good uh, mm, i mm. say it you killing the fourth one no no i was trying to think of of like one color stuff oh now he's a big oh he's just chonky i don't know i think that's chonky <laughs> We could save that one for later. Thick. Um, <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if, and I think this is maybe what Jeremy meant. Oh, okay. Jeremy has Jeremy has sent a uh, a screenshot. Let me let me grab this, and I'm gonna send it over to you, because I think that there is a possibility to do like the comb as one shape. The beak is one shape, the gizzard is one shape, and then like put outlines on all of those to have it work in one color outlined. Um, and Jeremy kind of put it together to where I think this is the the, the version that could work. Okay. Uh, let me paste this in there. Thank you, Jeremy. Uh, and yes, chat, if you are not in, a, a, happen to be in a Slack channel or you're not in a place where you have my number that you can text a sketch, there is a Discord. There are Discords uh, here on Adobe Live that you can join for Photoshop, Illustrator. Um, and in my heart, of course, um, the uh, Adobe Office, uh, or sorry, the Adobe Career Discord, which is bit.ly slash OH Hangout. 
um, or I believe it's, yeah, OH Hangout. Uh, it's also OH Cabin Chat if you want to go there. Um, and that's where we hang out for office hours to get career advice and whatnot. But there are great resources for you to chat and uh, create some awesome community over there. Uh, and yes, our friend Frank is saying this could be the new Zaxby's logo. There you go. Yeah. I was just playing around with some really fun colors over there, but uh, I did get Jeremy's uh, message. He said, pull this all the way up so it matches these guys. And then correct? stroke goes around. Oh, yes. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. And then I think maybe the stroke would go around there for a one color. Oh, Marcus, didn't know about discords. Yeah, there's so many discords for Adobe stuff. Um, uh, Val, if we can drop, oh, Val has already dropped the link. Uh, there are discords for pretty much every Adobe program that you'd ever imagine. Uh, they're great communities. There are mentors on there to help you out with stuff um, and kind of get connected. Yeah, I wasn't quite feeling yeah, I, that. So maybe yeah. I don't understand it. Maybe it's just a maybe it's just a three color, a three color guy. Or maybe we come back tomorrow and think through how to readdress that. Uh well, oh, <laughs> <laughs> like a traumatized chicken. Trauma. Kind of oh, and there's a cute little <laughs> chicken. Um yeah, I think we can either come back tomorrow or Yes, let's definitely time. leave anime chicken. <laughs> 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 no, but I, I think we landed on a good, good rooster. You can definitely tell. Um, I do too. I like the angles, the repeating angles here. And can you uh, command Y to go into outlines mode just so we can see the like shapes that are happening here? Look at that. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> Those, and again, we talked a lot about building with um, simple shapes. You can see here, it is all simple shapes. It's perfectly aligned. It's repeats. It's like everything you would want it to be. So y'all took me somewhere where I didn't think I was going to go and that's perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, this doesn't match anything that we did here, but we all can tell that that's a roast rooster. I would hope. Yeah. Um, I think it's fun and cute and like so Ben. Oh, oh. Now that I'm looking at it, it may not need that one. Yeah, that's interesting because we had deleted the back one a few times and we were like controversial about the back one, but I think maybe the, fright, the front one was the one that was throwing things off. Maybe, I mean, there there is a lot of comb right here. There is so. a lot of comb. But the, um, the black one only had three. Okay. So maybe ooh, ooh. a little bump. A little tiny bump right where that meets. That's perfect. Meets right there at this angle. Meets right there uh, at this angle. I don't know. I'm it not feels like it throws off the geometry. Them. It does. And I, I like, like the vertical because then the beak breaks that vertical if right. that front one's deleted a little bit. And yes, Nathan say the alignment is giving me peace. That um, feels right. So we, we sticking with this one for now? Yes, or killing the front. Chat, what do you think? Do we kill the front third? Here, I'll, I'll, I'll give them both versions. Oh yes, here. we'll do it. We'll do an A and B. This is an A B test live. Uh, left is going to be A. Right is going to be B. Chat, let us know uh, what we think. Some fire emojis in chat. Uh, we got some more names, some new names. Also, if you're lingering in chat and you've just like been there, like say hi, uh, toss it out. We love seeing new names. Uh, we have uh, Nathan is in here, the alignment giving me peace. Uh, our friend Steve Whoa. Fest is Casa Boom. Oh, look at those faces. Uh, Steve Fest is Casa Boom is saying uh, it's much better. Uh, Bill Kenny's in here. You did it, exclamation mark. Uh, it looks like we are tied currently. Okay, B, 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 Ooh, B, 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 B. Okay, everyone. Val, I I am very happy that you are allowing us to make a poll. I don't <gasps> think we're gonna need it. No, what happened? Y'all won't believe did, what just happened. Did we lose it? We did it. 
we did it i don't know if this has ever happened on a uh magic i don't know if this has ever happened on a stream before but wow. the joy is that we had the basic shapes and we know how to build it that we can build it like you want to see quick. how fast i can yeah, let's do it let's it? do it let's recover um don't yes fret. And, don't yeah yeah f's in chat f's in chat thank you um so let's again <laughs> and as we rebuild this let's look at the basic shapes right because we talked the whole thing is geometry basic shapes let's build with the basic shapes and kind of talk through as we do this sure so i remember the eye was directly centered yep and i don't know if we started out with something that was perfectly triangular or not i remember we said um Maybe not equilateral triangle. I think it's pretty close. It might have been a little bit squishy. Okay. Maybe this is going to be for the better. Maybe. I'm hopeful. I'm not discouraged, everybody. Yeah. If I had. If all... it was like super intricate, I think it'd be a different story. Agreed. Yes. And yes, chat. Here's the thing, chat. Like, I. I love you all, but there's enough familiar faces in here that you should know that your one job, I have a lot of jobs here. Ben has a lot of jobs here. Our studio producer has a lot of jobs here. Chat, your one job is to remind us to save. <laughs> I I thought I had been saving. It, That's the thing. It, yeah, it really, it, like, it's funny because we don't think about it. And I, I've i definitely done that. Uh, like, I'll finish two-hour streams with, like, untitled one star. And I'm like, oh, no. And, yes, this is this is the real reason that Ben is the champ. That's very true. Who said that? Uh, uh, Johnny. Johnny. And Johnny Mata said something about uh, triangles. Let's see, I've been making triangles wrong my whole life. Oh yeah, how did you make your triangles, Ben? Because there's like 90 different ways. Oh, uh, I usually go up to um, my polygon tool and oh. I do option click and then just click three sides. Okay, all right, Ben. Dude, yep. chat chat coming in clutch right now. Boom. Somebody went back and grabbed a clip of a screenshot from the from no the live way. play. And so it's in Slack for you in your DMs. And we can just use that as a guide to get uh the screenshot. That's true. All of the work is recorded. So in theory, we could go back well, and do we you want to flip to everything. your screen so I can take it? Oh, I have yes. Slack closed uh, for now. But... Yes, totally. Let me uh let me pull it over here. Uh all right, let's flip back to my screen real quick. And we can take a look at this. Am I good? Uh, yes. Uh, are we? Let's flip back to my screen. Let's see. Hold on. Give me a second. There we go. We're here. Cool. We're here. Uh, and we are going to look at Ben's site. Why not? We'll look at some of the um, collages here, which I do have uh, next to me. Let's actually talk real quick as you pull it up about your collages. Uh, I don't even know where to start with questions with this. Looking at like all this work and what we've done today, like pulling up these questions or <laughs> pulling up the collage. Like I just have to start with like, why collages? Yeah. Like what happened in a good way? <laughs> yeah, what happened in a good way? Well, COVID happened. And um, about that same time, I left my job at Focus Lab. What's up, Focus Lab peeps? If anybody's watching, I know Bill was uh, tuning in earlier. Hi, Focus Lab um, peeps. I had just left Focus Lab when the COVID thing hit and I had decided I was going to be a uh, teacher and there was the two weeks to flatten the curve. And I was thinking like, this is a fantastic opportunity for me to, um, you know, do some art as therapy. Let's not waste this time that we're given. Right. Yep. And so I had a stack of wired magazines in the, in the basement and I thought, um, I, I want to see what I can do. If, if I'm going to be an art teacher, I, I got to, make art. Yep. Uh, and I didn't even know if I could make art anymore. Um, and it's good art. And, and I was really kind of satisfied with it. I had never done collage work before, um, but I was excited to try it. And it turned out that I absolutely loved it. Every day I would go down in my basement on my ping pong table, yes. cut a whole bunch of stuff out with an X-Acto knife and listen to music and glue away. Yes. And, and if, yeah, if we want to cut to the, here, I'll give you the, the influencer look. Uh, if we can cut back to the full screen, this is uh, the prints that are available on that website as well. Um, one over here as well. Uh, and these all have kind of ideas attached to them, right? Yeah, I, I guess the whole series, there were 12 of them. And it was all about 
COVID really just the things I was processing, the things I was feeling. Um, so there's, they're all along that kind of vibe. If you look at them, you can kind of see there's an isolation vibe or reaching out and friends and we're all close. And, um, so that, that was kind of the whole deal with all 12 of them. Some, sometimes I would go down there and work for half an hour. One of those collages maybe took two or three. Yep. Um, and uh, our friend Bud Thomas is in chat now saying, Bud. hey, Ben, seeing your process, it's poultry in motion. Bravo. Hey. Bravo. I like it. Good work. All right. We have we have uh, salvaged this with the help of chat. Thank you so much, chat. Uh, this is why I we can't love believe it. together. Yeah, that's amazing. That's always there's always that risk of something happening. Uh, and I'm sure y'all have seen it on other streams, especially if you've joined me for any of my streams where something happens and you just got to recover. And I think that that's a big part of being a creative is like the agile thinking of cool. Something has gone wrong. How do we make the best of this? How do we fix it? What's the creative solution? Uh, and the answer was chat in this case. Yeah. Uh, also, Oscar, welcome to the stream. Oscar Pineda is in chat. What's up, Oscar? And our friend Marcus, thank you for the reminder. Just a quick control S. Let's get that quick save in there. I, I, I just can't believe I did that. Um, I don't think I did. I, it's, I swear I, I saved. I, something weird happened and then something else weird happened. And it was it was too many weird things. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I might need to I might need to retouch him up a little bit later, but for the most part, he's pretty close. Yep. Control S. Control S. Yes. And yes, uh, clever. We are not flailing like a chicken here. <laughs> yes, um, and we do have the option. Uh, oh yeah, let's let's go back to the option A and B. That's where we were, and I think that we landed on option B, which is where we Sweet. are here. That looks good. We have about twenty-ish minutes left, which probably isn't enough to start a new thing. Um, what do we want to explore? Do with those twenty minutes? I would like to explore a new thing. Oh, let's um, let's do it then. Let's go, Ben. Let's and, do it. And only because I want to save this deer for tomorrow. Because um, I'm really excited about that one. But um, bears? <gasps> oh. Now, let, let, maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll do two tomorrow as well. Um, and I want to definitely take a look at these bears. But I would love to create a bear quickly. Let's um, do it. Let's 20 minutes. maybe minute. not even looking at these bears. Um, just bear. I mean, you love Paddington, right? We, we all know what nice a bear thing. looks like. We, we all maybe grew up with a teddy bear. Um, maybe you don't even need a reference. We all know they have this big kind of muzzle with a nose. Free, free Paddington. Free Paddington, y'all. Free Paddington. Uh, in their mouth and their yes. eyes and their ears, they have very distinguishable features. So I'm going to see if I can make a um, just a quick bear. Yes. Um, I love the transition of me being like, all right, Ben. So like, what do we want to do with the rest of this stream? And the answer being bears with a question mark. Bears? Bears? Yes. Maybe. Yes. Yes is the answer to that question. <laughs> bears? Um, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this yet, but. Um... So in, in your brain right now, you're basically probably, and this is kind of what I'm just thinking through. What are the pieces on a face? of a bear, right? In your memory of like, or looking at a picture is like, all right, what are the bear face pieces? Yeah, like we know they have the ears, the eyes, the nose, the mouth. And I think if you can break that down, uh, you can do some really fun things without even really looking at a reference. So I'm thankful I have these guys here to look at, but they're probably not gonna inform my decision too much. Yeah. Um, Oh, yes. And thank you, Val. Val says, uh, having some difficulties, please bear with us. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Bravo. Chat is coming in clutch. Let it, me just say that. It's true. Chat's really spicy today. And I I, I love spicy chat. Uh, it happens every now and then. Sometimes it's very professional. Sometimes it's like pretty slow. But today we are just full action and very spicy. And I love it. I'm and impressed. very helpful. Thank you, chat. Um, there are multiple ways I could have gone about doing this. But I made this little rectangle to make this face. I don't know if that'll really play out quite yet, but. There's no wrong answers. Oh, yes. Chili peppers. Yes. Chili peppers in chat. Spicy chat. Thank you, Jacob. 
that for a second it was the um shoes fitness logo do i know the shoes fitness logo I don't, oh, maybe it's like a regional gym near me. There's a gym that like that, it's the U and then it's like a, but it's like a person with like their hands up. Huh. Um, oh yeah, that's weird. I'd never think about things being regional and like not existing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to copy this and. Um... Oh, oh, someone in chat said, I love the ears already. And I hadn't seen the ears. And then when I looked, I was like, oh yeah, it's like a little bear face. That is right. Oh, it's so cute. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm. We have just a few minutes left, but I'm really gonna try to see if I could do this quickly. I think we can get there, and it's kind of all in all in my head. But do you do practices like this with your students, to where it's kind of just like, hey, here's an idea, just boom, 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 <laughs> see where you can go? I haven't yet, but this feels stressful and fun. Chat. If you want to, if you want to go along with us, like try to make a bear, uh, see how quickly you can do it. See if you can do it before the end of the stream. We have, uh, about 20 minutes left. Uh, and so if you want to make any kind of geometric animal, uh, go ahead and make it and then just drop it in, uh, the illustrator discord. I'm sure that there's a place for that. Uh, Val can drop the link there, um, and drop it in the illustrator discord. If you can make a quick geometric animal and oh, also, Chat, you love if I do, you love when we do this. I'll give a prize to anyone that can find the daily creative challenge where I taught you how to make a, a geometric animal. I believe we made a koala. Um, if you want to find that video, it exists somewhere. It was literally at least a year ago. Uh, so if someone finds that, I'll send you a, a prize uh, if you can drop that link in there. We love additional resources here. So this is going to be fun, I hope. And is this in your brain? Is this already done or are you building it piece by piece and kind of experimenting as you I'm, go? I'm in my head. It's done. And in my head, it works. Um, <laughs> isn't that the story? I swear it works. Let me convince you. And thank you for the discord link there, Val. Thanks so much for dropping that in. Did you, Ben, ever watch the Bears, Bears, Bears show? The what? It was, it was on like Cartoon Network and it was all about these like cute little bears. I don't think so. Okay. Little bear. I need to rotate. Where's my center point? Oh, did it Pathfinder the circle? Oh. Oh, let me just try this. We Bear Bears. Yes, thank you, Clever. That was the name of the show. Oh, oh my goodness. Are you seeing it? I'm seeing, I'm seeing Bear. Well, I want this to be cut. On the edge of that circle to create yeah. the same. There we go. Kind of. Yes, it somehow made him snooty. Like it made him a snootier bear somehow by cutting that. That he's like <laughs> a refined bear. <laughs> like Paddington. I was going to say, yeah, this it, it feels like maybe Paddington's uncle who's like invited him over for tea. He's a very, very British bear. A very British go. bear. I'm trying to line this up. I also love that you do the creative thing of just drawing random boxes to align things to. And it's like, okay, we know that rules exist. We know they're smart guides. Here's some boxes. We're going to use those. I do, yeah, that's, right? that's, I think the workflow across the board. So wow, I just knocked, knocked there. that whole thing out. Um, oh yeah, because you don't need it at all, right? I and now you can so. reshape it. Yeah, well, I guess I you can't reshape it because the you're matching the line widths to the ears, right? Yeah, I was trying to, these. That's not half bad for being super quick. It's not. Uh, we can give you... him a little bit of personality. And yes, y Yama was saying, I'm having a hard time trying to compute how all these shapes make a bear. I I agree, I, I agree. <laughs> it's so hard to talk and reach out at the same time. Um, 
And yes, uh, Jermaine is making a great joke. It's very, uh, it's a very minimal bear, but spelled M I N I and then animal. Minimal. No. Wow. People Bye-bye. really like know that I like puns. So. It's yes. If you have any other puns, oh, we're gonna give us a little, a little bit of a Maybe? scruffy scruff. Maybe. That's a. That's pretty big. Maybe something that lines up to the bottom of his uh, muzzle there. So I love reset work, bounding box. By the way. Like, boom, now I got something I can line that up with. I I never use that and just oh. now have like remembered that it exists. Can you, okay, can you do that one more time? Cause I think that that is like definitely something that people don't use. Um, so when it was like this, it, it doesn't align to anything uh, because these are rotated uh, squares. So it still kind of pretends I have some things over here but it's really just a ghost. Um, when I, when I do shift command, I can see that I really just have these three points. Um, I've just rotated it. Um, so when I select all three, instead of just trying to align it visually or trying to create some kind of guide, I'll go up here to object, transform, reset bounding box. So now my bounding box is at the top of this point and it aligns to the bottom of this uh, triangle. So now, yes. there we go. I'll pull and it yes. to the bottom of the... Uh, Bill is saying, give him those chops. Yes, yes, just full starburns. <laughs> Elvis Bearsley, nice. <laughs> I guess yeah, we didn't name the bear. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I I think I think yeah. Chat, give us some, give us some names. Elvis Bearsley is in the contention, but we have us some names for our bear friends because he is so cute. I don't know if he needs them on top. I don't know. And then we probably have time. We have like 15 minutes to maybe jump into doing like some maybe color exploration to see. I just love your colors. And so I want to like watch you get color stuff in and do some variations. Oh, sure. Uh, Cause you're very, very good at it. Well, it's kind of hard with just two colors. That's true. Um, let me try to think how I could do this then. Also, this is, this is very much just a selfish thing that I want that I have no justification for. Can he have, can they have um, a hat? Oh, you know what? It just feels like there's so much space there for just something to just sit perfectly right on top. Yes, he can. Yes. It's Look almost winter bear. You need to be warm. Yes, Ben's making dream comes true. That's, that's, that's what we're here for. And yes, Katarina, so cute, I agree. Oh, look at his little bear. He's a little Seattle bear. <laughs> you know what? We're going to change the colors here. I'm so excited. This is making me so happy. And so as you look at this chat, uh, the only complex thing here really is the nose. Uh, and mouth, but the rest of it is just simple shapes. And so try to pick out the simple shapes when you're building something. Um, if you're working on your animal, going to post in Discord, um, think only through simple shapes, all rectangles, triangles, and circles. Beanie bear. Oh, he is a beanie bear. It's like a beanie baby, but a beanie bear. <laughs> So as you're picking colors, Ben, because your colors are amazing, you always have amazing colors. Like, how does this happen? How, how are you finding these colors? Is it kind of just like feel it out or is there a method to the madness? Uh, there's no method right away, at least. Um, I mean, you got to think about contrast. I think that's probably what I do the most. Uh, most of my work, when you see it, it's super contrasty. There's no uh, things that are really close in value. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I would say. Yep. Uh, and great find. Harp uh, Harpreet Singh says his right eye is larger than his left eye. I think <gasps> we scaled at some point. In oh, it. you're right, man. Eagle you eyes in chat. MVP. He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> like even worse. like a caffeinated like <laughs> bear that's just. Uh, you know what though? Let's let's Six make him like in. a Seattle bear. He's super tired. You need some caffeine. Oh yeah, it's kind of grumpy. Or something easy you could do is make him a happy bear. <gasps> Yay, happy bear! 
or one happy. <laughs> He's just a stressed bear. Uh, and Jeff Kane is saying maybe add some pine trees to match the sideburns. Yeah, I mean, if this turned into, oh, oh, does he have? Mm, again, so this is a suggestion that that Ben you should say no to and would say no to. Then I'm like, oh, let's put like, what if there was like a patch on his hat? But we talked about, right, of adding things until it's too much. That feels like it would be like, oh, no, we've definitely gone too far. True. I think we would. And yes, Ashley, me on a Monday. Agreed. So what I'm going to do now is uh, just a little ribbed hat action. And in order to do that, Equally, I'm gonna grab all of them. I made one outside the hat on either side. And then start selecting inside, align. And then this one right here. Horizontal distribute. Yep. Those, wonderful the, thing. those bottom rows, the distribute objects are so underrated for alignment. Like they are Agreed. magic. Pull those in here so we don't get any kind of artifacts from our... See, cause these are technically aligned, but if you were to zoom out, they get that one little, yep. They get that one pixel width of that orange and that's no good. So that's not terrible. This is this is a great bear for as fast as we just did that. We still have 10 minutes left. Um, that's wild. <laughs> and, and you know, obviously if we're thinking Twitter or Instagram or things like that, it's gonna sit in avatar and, Obviously, the the nose or the muzzle was the thing that was going to be central, but we yeah. kind of added things on top and the ears go a little bit above. So there is such thing called uh, visually center. And I think we need not to do a that. tool, not a tool. It's all in your eyeballs. And uh, I think it's wise to visually center things before we give final logos to the clients, because things aren't going to look super great if they're all mathematically centered. Um, yep. So, and Chai is suggesting that maybe we experiment with eyebrows. Oh, maybe yeah. give some personality. We can happy, sad, angry. The problem with eyebrows would be what color are they? Because That's they true. can't it's a be whole blue. Other color, yeah. They would have to be this, which is fine. Or hat color. Or hat color. Which again I'm, seems like too much. It does. I'm going to try to make that centered, aligned to the ear. Align to the eye. Pretty darn close. I love that everything centers to something. Like that's the, your entire design process is smart guides. Like it just oh, happens. Yeah, he's for so sure. angry. <laughs> he's just or, disappointed. Or he's just questionable. Oh yes, and Jermaine is saying it kind of looks like a honey uh, a honey top as well. It does. Oh, interesting. Maybe it's a honey yeah. company. There you go. <laughs> That's actually really He's funny. So goofy. That's really fun. That that is a fun idea, like a bear character that has a beanie that is basically <laughs> like the honeycomb thing. Uh, That's really fun. Uh, and instead, so these little tiny areas right here are bothering me and me alone. Um, maybe it's bothering one of you. I'm gonna decide to get rid of this. Excuse me, I'm going to get rid of the circles and repeat the ear shape. Um, oh, interesting. To so just give them a different bit of an eye line, but it's a familiar shape from something we've already used. Correct. That might make them a little bit bigger, but. This guy, how did it turn into just the cutest mascot so fast? <laughs> pretty fun. He's pretty fun. And I feel like the way that you've built it with the shapes, uh, it'd be really fun to do like a walk cycle because everything could kind of like have that like bounce to it pretty easily. True. Uh, like bounce and squish. Uh, once we're done aligning things, can we go back into outline mode just to show everyone kind of the basic shapes yes. that we use here and the For alignments? because. Sure. We have to admire the alignment. Oh, and I think someone in chat, did you do it? Let me look. Let me confirm this link. Uh, 
let's see here. Okay. Okay. Yes. This I'll, I'll count this one. This is not the one I was talking about. This one we made an Eagle, uh, the chat that you posted, but yes, thank you. Uh, Ekremor, uh, send me a DM here on Behance, um, or on one of the discords, uh, send me a direct message or on Twitter or Instagram or wherever. Uh, and we'll hook you up with a little prize. Thanks for finding that link. That is a major throwback. Um, so thanks for finding that. If you guys want to see, there is an episode where we build a little bit of an Eagle using simple shapes, uh, for the daily creative challenge that you can go back and watch as well. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out was we didn't make any kind of iterations at all. We That's just true. stuck on that one pair. Uh, the only thing that I wanted to uh, remove now are the eyebrows because we feel like we're getting this sense of eyebrows because his lids are lower now. Yep. And we, we sense that his eyebrows exist and that he's making that kind of expression. So we almost don't need them. Um, I've still lined this up, these corners right here lined up. Um, this was just barely shooting over this one but visually it's, it's aligned. Yeah. So that's something, can you talk about that real quick of the alignment of like rounded things versus, uh, yeah, rounded things fingers. obviously are going to have a little bit of a overshoot, um, top to bottom. And so, yes, I could make it like this, but in reality, this looks lower now than these two things. It's the same yep. in typography. Um, so scooting this up a little bit feels right. Still feels good. It's still centered to everything. Um, and that's pretty fun looking bear. Yep. Can we do something with the last five minutes? Uh, oh, that you wanted I to think look at the outline mode. What? Oh, yes. Let's you look at outline mode, but then I have one other suggestion as well. Okay. Um, those colors are so good, Ben. How? Well, uh, the yes. yellow doesn't look good anymore. Let's uh, definitely check out the outline modes. So Just cool. barely. Yes. Thank you, chat. Yes, we did save. Yay. All right. Outline modes is command Y. Yes. So look at that. It's literally squares, rectangles, circles, just rounded stuff. Um, okay. Can we do an iteration? Oh, different eye sizes again, says Garrett. Are you serious? Are we? Did we? No, not this time. No, not this time. Just looks like it. Optical illusion. Yes. Um, okay. Can we do a version of him, a different iteration to where everything is a little more bubbly and rounded to see the difference in the two of just kind of rounding stuff off. So it's less like sharp and more if the client was like, oh, we wanted to feel more like, like a, like a cartoony bear or whatever. Um, Happy bear. Yes. And I want to show just the quick differences you can make, and especially when you're working with shapes, to completely change um, something without doing a ton of work to it. Look at this little man. I would even go as far as to do a little bit more. If we're going with rounded things and making them a little bit more chunky, Oh no, he's so cute. I might it, do the same thing for up here. It almost turned into like a red panda immediately. Like it went <laughs> from bear to like cute little like chubby red panda. It's awesome. So again, the, what I wanted to show and I was like, oh yeah, we have some time. Let's like do that. It literally took what, 45 seconds and you have Maybe. a completely different logo. Uh, <laughs> it's like, cool. This is now a completely different company, a whole new direction. Um, and I'm sure the client would think like, oh, look at all these iterations we're getting. And it's like, it's the same thing with different versions of rounded corners. Yep. And I um, just did pull the mouth down to give it some more weight that looked too weak right now. Yep. Uh, so I just made that bigger. I still kept that same line weight in between these two objects, but yeah. Little bear boy. All right, let's go all over. <laughs> I usually end the stream like this and we can't. I was going to say, let's go back to where we started. Can, uh, can we go back to the sketches and kind of go from inspiration to sketch to then where we ended there? Um, and kind of talk through that process of like building yeah. a geometric shape. So you can all remember. Let's yeah. You can all remember where we were. Yeah. We if you, if had you some, don't um, know what's happening, go back and start at the beginning of the video and just like watch it three times speed and then like come back to where we are now. We did lose a bunch of stuff. Um, so we're going to talk through the process, but we can't yeah. necessarily show you the process. You can watch the replay after this is done. <laughs> um, yeah. So basically we started out with these sketches here with giving me a preliminary idea of some shapes that we could use some um, simple shapes like circles and um, even some triangles here. And 
we made a couple versions that did not look good, like genuinely just would not work as logos. Um, but we, we kept on punching it up and trying to make it even more uh, simple. Yep. And, and honestly, up- those those first ideas deserved to be deleted. I think that they had it coming. Fine. And as long, I mean, we've landed where we need to be. And this yep. is the only this is our only Waddles McGee or whatever that needs to exist <laughs> here. He laid right. down the band hammer. That's right. And then we just had a simple, you know, do we make the comb uh, four points or three? And we kept four. Uh, I'm probably going to rebuild this again <laughs> after the stream is over, <laughs> um, just because there's little tiny quirks that I can see. Probably nobody else can. But yep. Um, yeah, this was a lot of fun already. And then how much time did we have left before we went over here to the bear? Oh, we only had like t- probably 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So this is just from my head of what I could do in the limited amount of time that we had um, using simple shapes, circles. Um, we use strokes, we use pathfinders, we use some triangles here at 45 degree angles. Um, and then just in the past like <laughs> minute, we decided to make them a little bit softer and rounder and uh, see what we could do there. Obviously, and I, now I might he's move cute. some things. I still might move some things around, but uh, yeah. All right. And so let's talk about real quick. What are we doing tomorrow? Where are we going to be going tomorrow? I know tomorrow, we have another shape to do, maybe some Photoshop. Uh, we have yes. some sketches to look at. Where are we going tomorrow? I'm very excited. Tomorrow, we're going to tackle this deer. Um, oh, dear. And I'm excited. I think there's some possibilities here. I'm only bringing in this one reference photo. I like some of the sketches that I've done. Um, but then I'll, I'm also going to show you some kind of finishing touches in Photoshop. We'll pull in Waddles McGee. We'll pull in the, um, what was the name of the bear? Oh, no, I forgot. Okay. We'll pull him chat. too. Let us know. Yes. And uh, we'll, we'll make a, a fun display to, to show off on Behance and Dribble and your social media profiles. Yes. Uh, so follow along. Make sure you come back tomorrow. Set a reminder. You can follow Ben by clicking uh, down below on the link there. And then right after the stream is the Adobe XD daily creative challenge. You can hang out. I believe it is, uh, I actually don't know who's hosting it, but the Adobe XD challenge is coming up uh, right after this. You can hang out and follow along to learn some XD. And then later today, stick around for the draw along with Kyle T. Webster. It is my serenity of the day. Um, make sure you stick around and listen to that. It's great. And Ben, you're always so encouraging. Do you have any encouragement for our friends as we sign off today? Just don't give up. Obviously the first few things that you do are going to be crap and we just need to all accept that. So keep, yes. keep pushing. Yep. And sometimes the crap end up going into the nether uh, and you end up with just what you need. So <laughs> keep going. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. See ya.